Well guys, it's Kieran or Kiddikids HD here, and welcome back to Around the World, and after last episode's shenanigans, we are here today to face off against ADO Den Hag in the area division. Now in the last episode, of course, we lost to St Etienne in the Europa League, and we've actually been on a fantastic run as of late since that game. Let's go speak about it. So after the disappointment of St Etienne, we were away to Spackenberg in the Dutch Cup second round, I believe. Yeah, and we won 2-1. Goals from Govsja and Tapia um, giving us the 2-0 lead. They got a goal back just for half-time from Scholten. But we did win this game. We were much better. Um, they did commit a lot of fouls, by the way, in this game. I'm surprised they only got one yellow. They committed 20 fouls. That's crazy. In the next game, we were at home to Hercules in the Twentest derby. We won 3-1. Great performance all round. Angelo Henriquez, Jesus Krohn and Ben Pearson getting our goals. And Wijlan Plium getting Hercules' goal. In the next game, we were at home to Besiktas, and in the biggest result probably so far, um, we won 4 0 against Besiktas. This was a freaking amazing game, but I don't know what happened here really. It was just a case of probably, um, well, not probably, it was just a case of um, Besiktas just not taking their chances and us taking our chances as we won 4 0 through a brace from Dimitri Mitchell and Franco Acosta. Now, I will say, this score really does not reflect the game completely we this score flatters us completely because I mean we did play well but Besiktas were very very good I think it just uh, it's a case of the score um flattering us a bit in the next game though we drew 0-0 with FC Groningen um boring game really um for, for boring game for me because Groningen just dominated the game really in the next game we were away to FC Eidenhoven and we won 1-0 um good result really all around because you know the new promoted side just didn't play too well we got a goal from Jan de Hander in the 80th minute to give us the win now in terms of um this result it does leave us a bit higher in the table but we are struggling a bit yeah so before we get to this Den Haag game we have one more game to speak about it's probably the second biggest result of the the part so far. Um, we drew 2-2 two -two of Arsenal away from home. Now, in terms of um, statistics, Arsenal were very good on possession as per usual, and we just kind of took our chances lately. Arsenal have got a very good side with Savic in defence, Juan Jesus, Asamoah, Chalaba, still got Sanchez playing for them, they've got Boldy Keita, Ozil, Danny Welbeck, Oxley Chamberlain on the bench, and of course our former player Bill Al Olchik on the bench as well. In the case of this game was, um, I think they just kind of took off the gas a bit, if you get what I'm saying. Like, they scored in the 24th minute for Asamoah, and then after half time, Bowie Kaita got a goal in the 50th minute. Then in the final 10 minutes of the game, I put it to attack in to kind of like maybe get a consolation goal. We ended up getting two goals after Jack Wilshire got injured. Hazus Corona got one in the 82nd minute. Then Jack Wilshire got injured. That was, that's, that took um, Arsenal down to 10 men, by the way. And then Dimitri Mitchell scored in the 92nd minute to give us a 2 2 draw, which I, I honestly, I could potentially say this is bigger than the Besiktas result, but I'm not entirely sure. So in terms of the Europa League, after um, the Besiktas and Arsenal results, we are third with four points. Uh, we are two points behind AS Saint Etienne, who beat us, of course. Um, they've beaten us and Besiktas. Arsenal have beaten Saint Etienne and Besiktas. They've drew with us. Uh, Saint Etienne have lost to Arsenal. Um, in terms of what we need to do, we need to beat Besiktas again. We know, we really need to try and probably win against Saint Etienne and maybe get a draw against Arsenal. It's going to be tough, but I reckon we can do it. And in terms of the league table, we are fifth. Six wins, one draw, two losses, 19 points. It's very tight down here. Uh, if we win today's game against Den Haag, we are third. We can jump as high as um, as third. And we need to be chasing against Vit um, Vitesse to get that second spot. Um, Ajax, of course, have run away with the league again. They still haven't lost. They've won nine games. Look at the results they've had. 6-2 against Hercules. 6-0 against Zwolle. Away from home, by the way. 5-0 against um, FC Utrecht. Other news, we have... um. New training facilities. Yeah, we've got some new um, facilities now. We've got um, state-of-the-art training facilities, which I think is unbelievable. We've got some amazing stuff here, to be honest. We have some really amazing stuff here at FC20. And um, in terms of affiliates, I mean, with the affiliates we have, we've got a big chance to probably... Um, I mean, in my head right now, I'm in the case of um, I want to win the league with FC20. I, I want to win the cup with FC20, and I want to potentially win the Europa League. I don't want to leave yet. I mean, I'm starting to feel the love for this club. This club is amazing at the moment, and I'm really hoping to stay for a long time. So, some statistics. Hazes Corona with the most appearances for club. Most goals is Dimitri Mitchell with four goals, and most assists is going to be Hazes Corona again. Now, we're going to speak about Hazes Corona, of course. 
Um, he obviously still wants to leave the club. He's been on some magical form lately. Once again, magical form, you know. Two goals, four assists, three player matches award. He has been on fire, at least recently. He's actually wanted by Olympiacos still. Um, we need to be careful with that. Simon Fern, he wants to leave for not getting first team football. And he is wanted by Sweden. So that's, that's random. That's really random. <laughs> um... Other players, Angela Henriquez has been wanted for a while now. Celta Vigo, Fenerbahce and Tigres are wanting him. Uh, Lucas, um, Luke Castaignos, obviously we re-signed him on a free transfer after he was um, let go. AZ Alkmaar and FC Groningen want him. Um, Goldbranson, he doesn't get much game time here. Alkmaar want him. And Tanda, I'm trying to loan him out. And he want, but, whoa, okay, right. Italian teams on it. Navarra, Perugia... Pisser and Pro Vercelli. We need to be careful with that because I know this guy has potential. Just a little bit, but I mean, I would like to develop him a bit more. Um, Glody Watto is unhappy at the club. He wants to go. He needs to leave, but no one wants him. I've tried to let him go and nobody wants him. We have a big opportunity here to take third place away from Den Haag, so we need to win this game. Um, in terms of who we're going to pick for the side, we're going to stay with the usual formation the 4 1 2 2 1. I'm calling it, but it's apparently it's a 4 3 3 with DM on this game. I'm just going to call it the 4 1 2 2 1. Um, Jesus Corona's knackered. He is knackered. I'm not going to play him if he's absolutely shattered. I'm not going to do it. I won't risk it. I can't risk that. I think what we're going to do is put Dimitri Mitchell on the right, I believe. Yeah, we're going to put him on the right. Uh, we're going to put Luke Castor Ignos on the left and put. Um, where is he? Jesus Corona on the bench. Where's he gone? I've lost him. I've lost him. There he is. Um, <laughs> I want to play Caleb Smith as well for Ligue 1 because Caleb Smith has been on some okay form lately so I'd like to give him a game um, who in terms of the defenders who have we got we've got Ligue on the bench with Paddy McNair okay we'll do that uh, Shadrach on the bench I like it Simon Fern no chance he's not good enough anymore goodbye son uh, Acosta on the bench yeah sure let's do it let's see what if we can pick up as no wait 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 we're going to go on attacking we've got to go on attacking from the outgo because that's what we do now let's get in to this game. Now in terms of Den Haag's side, they got Mora up front. Marengo, Cesar, Faletti, Janssen, Alberg, Saria, Brunet, Luis Eduardo, Manfrin, Massop and Moret in goal. On the bench they got Paddock, um, Davito, Rodriguez, De Luca, Van Ollegen, uh, Bumati and Hadji. I'm going to look at Mora because, I mean, if they're doing quite well, he must be getting some goals for the club. He's 24 years old, 9 appearances, 4 goals, 4 assists. He's doing quite well for the bloody hell. That's a, that's a proper goodbye, by the way. They brought in from Odds Itatano in the Chilean division. That's a really good buy from them, to be fair. I should have looked at him. Let's get into this game and see if we can pick up a win. This game is underway. ADO Dan Hag kick off this game. Can we pick up a win against a side that we are t currently fighting with for this third position? Let's find out. Caleb Smith with the throw in. Dorinchi Mitchell is on the side. Angela Henry because of the shot. Gunner for a corner. We had the first shot of the game with Doe in possession quite nicely. Mitchell with the ball into Mora. The hander. Back to Mitchell. The hander. Sanchez. Oh, it's offside, but it's a big chance. Soprian with the throw in. Brennett clears it. Soprian to Pearson. What can we do here? Back oh, it's a great pass. Soprian cast to Ignos. Henriquez. Off the crossbar. Oh, it's a big, big chance. He's got to be scoring that. Corner's going to be whipped in by Mitchell. I'm going to guess it's going to be headed clear. The hander to Mitchell. Mitchell to Pearson, the hander, the hander, oh my word, that'd have been a lovely goal. Soprian with the throw in, Manfrin clears it, Soprian back on the ball to Pearson, Tapia, ball to Henriquez, Henriquez with the shot, it's just wide, big chance again for Henriquez, he's not performing well. Brennett with the throw in to Seria, Bejlan with the uh, tackle, Soprian to Sam Johnston, that was a really risky pass by the way, Man Manfrin, I'm guessing, Mitchell, what's he going to do, look at him, look at him go. He's so good. That is so unlucky. Dimitri Mitchell is amazing. Pearson with the ball in. What can he do? Mora heads it wide. Uh, clear. To Caleb Smith. What can he do? He can do nothing. Tapia. Mora heads it clear. The hand's going to gather it. What can he do? He can hit it. I know he can. The hand I got, my son. Mitchell. What's he going to do? Mitchell, whip it in. Whip it in. That's it. Henriquez. Oh, my God. Angelo Henriquez, do something, please. Cast it, Ignos. Pearson to Henriquez. Luis Eduardo tackles him. Pearson to Mitchell. Mitchell, shot, Moret saves it. We've had a lot of chances in this game, we're just not taking them. Free kick by Pearson, it's going to be whipped in. Henriquez, Marengo clears it, Mora's on the break. 
Dan Hag have a chance. Marengo down that left hand side. What can he do? What can he do? He's gonna whip it in. Good. Thank you, Caleb Smith. You. That's why I brought you on. That's why I preferred you over Ruben Ligion. You star. You American star. Mitchell Henriquez, M mate. I will take you off. Are you joking? That's like one on one opportunity, and you're not gonna score it. Are you mad? Are you joking, mate? Come on now. For Christ's sake, stop him with the ball. Castor Ignos, he's going to get tackled. He's not. Seria gets it. Oh, my word. Smith. Ball to Mitchell. The hander. The hander. Mitchell. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Are you joking? Are you mad? How many shots do I have had in that highlight? Like, three shots, wasn't it? Something like that? Three, four shots? Crazy. I cannot believe we're not, we're not leading this game. It's half time. I'm actually going to make a double change. I'm not joking right now. Dimitri Mitchell can start up front and get Henry because he's going off for Corona. Actually, that's going to be a single change. I'm not going to make a double change. I was going to take off, um, where's his name? Tapia and bring on uh, Shadrach or McNair, but I'm going to leave it. I'm not happy. I can't I can't tell you how um, unhappy I am right now. This is not a good result so far. We have been dominating this game once again and just not getting the goals. I think I'm going to Henrique this might be on his way out. Alright, second half is underway. We need to be getting a goal and fast, because I'm not happy. And if we don't get a goal, and if we end up losing this game, I'm going to lose my shit. Bedgeland to Sanchez. Pearson, we're going to do a lovely bit of passing play, but that's not good enough. Burnett, or Brennett, Serie Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, my God. Oh, well, I should have taken Tapia off anyway, because he's injured. Sick. Pearson's going to come on. as a, Pearson's going to drop to the DM role, and we're going to bring on Shadrach. And switch him out with the hander so he can be a box of box midfielder. I'm not happy, lads. I'm really not happy. We've got a highlight here. Corona with the free kick. It's cleared. And now Den Hag going to break. Marengo. What's he going to do? He's going to probably whip it in here. He's going to get tackled. Oh my god. I swear, if we lose this game, I'm going to literally fire someone. There you go. Tapia's off. Now make the opportunity count now. Corona with the free kick. Corona! Oh my god. Even Corona can't score today. I think that's the story so far. We're not going to score in this game, are we? We're going to make a change because look at the, the fitness is a bit low everywhere. We're going to bring on Paddy McNair as a DM for Pearson, even though he not, he's not a great DM. It's just going to have to do. And actually, unless, can Bejlan play in a DM role? Well, he's better anyway, isn't he, really? And then we'll bring on McNair as a defender and play him next to Sanchez. I'm not happy. We need to be scoring a goal now. Can we get a goal here? Stop to Mitchell. Cast it Ignos. Mitchell. Passes it in the box. Shadrach. Shadrach, mate. You've got to hit that properly. Hit a shot like a fucking proper man. 83 minutes in. Smith to Corona. Penalty! Thank you so much. They think Corona's died, but I don't care. We've got a penalty. It's going to be taken by number 16. Who is the hand up? If you don't score this, mate, I'm going to send you back to Liverpool. I'm not joking. Go back to Liverpool if you guess this. Thank you so much. You're not going back to Liverpool. One nil. FC twenty. Thank the Lord. The hander with the penalty. I mean, keeper goes the wrong, the right way. Sorry, just doesn't get his arm stretched out enough. One nil. FC twenty. Eighty nine minutes gone. We're gonna get a goal here if we can. Shadrach. Corona. What a save by Moret. It's a great save. Corona's gonna whip it in the corner. Can he get a header somewhere? Sanchez with the header. No. De Luca's gonna break. Don't you let him score. After we just got that, the hander, mate. What a challenge. Brenet to Seria, De Luca, Janssen, Rodriguez to Van Oligen, Seria, don't you fucking Christ, what a goal. I swear, man. I need to, um, gonna quickly, um, we'll see this goal and then I'm gonna put it on overload and I'm gonna go crazy in much higher tempo. De Luca, what a bloody goal that is. What a goal. Um, no. Oh, I've left it too late, idiot. Um, go it well, I'm not trying to We're not going to get a goal, but um, Soprien to the hander, unless we get enough penalty here. Mitchell to Bedgeland. What can he do to Shadrach? Shadrach with the shot. Rodriguez. Oh, don't, don't, don't. McNair, Shadrach. It's two seconds left. Cast it. I'm mad about that result. That is ridiculous how we dominated the game. And, um,. We didn't win. We had an opportunity here, and we just didn't take it. And now we are up to fourth. But PSV have two games in hand, and they probably can take over us and probably get up to second like they usually do. I'm really disappointed about that result. In terms of shots, we had 20, they had 8. In terms of possession, we had 58% possession, and they had 42. And yet we still managed to uh, not get this game by the scruff of the neck and just absolutely kill it. Because, I mean, I mean, look at the, look at the stats. Just say, oh, we should have won that game. So in the Eredivisie... That leaves us in 4th place with 20 points, PSV have 2 games in hand, 
over Den Haag and Vitesse. So they're probably going to jump up sooner or later once they play those games. I'm guessing they've got Champions League or Europa League football or something. Um, Den Haag were lucky and we could have broke away from the pack a bit. But we're not going to. In terms of relegation right now, you've got FC Eidenhoven in the bottom space and Zwolle and Herenvin battling for that bottom um, playoff. Quite surprising to see her in down there. I won't, I won't, I will say that. Um, Rodder JC in 11th. You've got Aza in 9th. I'm sure they used to be a, a force to be reckoned with. What happened to them? Um, we're going to um, quickly have a look at the Barclays Premier League because I've had a couple of people requested it on Twitter. So we'll go have a look at the Premier League quickly. So um, people have been requesting the Premier League on Twitter. Here it is. Um, Manchester United on top. 25 points. They haven't lost a game yet. Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea in the 4th. Spot Arsenal are not doing well. They're down in fifteenth. Got Watford, Norwich, and Fulham in the bottom spots. You got Sheffield United. Wow, Sheffield United got promoted. That's amazing. When did they do that? Right, they got fifth in the Scottish League One. They got they got double from. That's amazing. Are they rich or something? Because they must have made some good signs this year as well. Nafty, Michael Jacobs, Nessid, uh, McGrandles. They got Daniel Osvaldo, that's a good signing. Even though it's a bit of a wanker. Wolf with Zaha, Joe Bryan, who have they let go? It's like, wow. That's mad profit from Jack Wilshire. <laughs> I mean, Jack Wentworth, sorry, I, I get confused all the time. Uh, that's mad profit. Fair play. So, um, that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, we're going to go ahead and play Ajax in the next game because I feel that's going to be a big tie. So, that gives us two Europa League games to play. We've got a free area division games and a Dutch Cup third round game against Almere City, who I've actually seen in a couple of groups being played as a, um, a save in FM. So, maybe I should have played that. But oh well, we have Ajax in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Around the World. If you did, leave a like and hopefully it's recorded. <laughs> so if you did enjoy this episode um, leave a like, uh, comment and subscribe if you didn't enjoy this episode like, leave a comment and subscribe and I will see you very soon for another episode of Around the World